Hello, Virgos. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in April. This reading will be for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the energy in April. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. <clears throat> If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading, and you want to show some support to this channel, hit the subscription link along with the notification bell and the thumbs up image to help the video circulate. For something more private, more detail, and more specific to your situation the link for private readings it will be posted in the description box below so we are going to get started with the two of pentacles virgo all right so i am seeing some of you i'm seeing someone here thinking about commitment thinking about a new beginning within a commitment thinking about a higher level of commitment Thinking about growing old with someone, but not ready to have this conversation. This could be you or your partner because the energies can be vice versa. You may be trying to get this person's attention. You may be trying to let this person know how you feel and what you want. However, I see that someone here is overthinking. Someone here is um, presenting themselves as being okay, but has place themselves in some type of mental imprisonment okay place place themselves in some type of mental imprisonment could be with a dealing with a cancer with the chariot card in a reverse i'm seeing that i'm picking up that someone may have given an ultimatum for a high level of commitment and this person, someone, the other person is like, okay, let me think about it. But I feel like it's going to go through or it's going to, the relationship will go to a higher level of commitment because this person is not walking away. They cannot walk away. They um may be at a distance from you now with the world card, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy. But this person is not going anywhere. I'm also seeing that if this person has walked away, they're still overthinking the situation. They're not able to move on. Someone here is not able to move on from something that happened in the past. And this is why this person is taking their time or not taking action and taking their time to make a decision or to come back in. I'm hearing a lack of trust. That's what I'm hearing. Someone here has a lack of trust towards the other person. Someone here was left wounded. Someone felt like they did all this work and was left wounded. And with the three of pentacles, I'm seeing that there could have been people gossiping about this situation with someone that you love or vice versa. Someone was shut out or knocked out of a home, shut out of a home needing to make decisions on where things will go after some type of gossiping something took place where i'm seeing people people were gossiping could be with the mother or father of your children with this empress card and this is someone you're at a distance from or this person wants to travel towards you to have a conversation but they need clarity and again, with the Hierophant Taurus energy, someone here is talking to family and friends about this situation. This person with this Emperor card, Aries energy, could be controlling. They want to be in charge of things. <laughs> and I feel like with the High Priestess, someone here ne needs to listen to their intuition. Someone is not listening to their higher self with their High Priestess. And that is what's causing them to be kept in in the dark because someone here needs to listen to their intuition and they're not and it's resulting in them feeling overwhelmed burdened 
by them feeling like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulder and making them or causing them to walk away from a situation where there could be a passionate new beginning. They could put potentially put an end to this um, separation and start over. But again, someone here needs to listen to their intuition and they also need to open up their eyes to see what's going on around them and, and stop listening to other people. I feel like you and this person have been apart for a long time with this Knight of Wands here. This person could dance to the, or move to the beat of their own drum. I'm seeing that as well. Someone here moves to the beat of their own drum. They have a black car. But I see that this person loves you. There's a mutual love here, but there was some type of heartbreak because of these other people or because of a third party. Someone here was gossiping or talking about you or you were talking about someone. Someone was hurt behind gossiping. Someone was being discussed amongst family and friends. Could have been at a party or some type of celebration from what I'm seeing. Let me get that card. Could have been at some type of gathering or party. Where this gossiping or this conversation took place. And someone may have come back and told you what was being discussed. And you or them were the topic of the discussion. Yeah, I'm seeing that um, there was some, you, you've gotten some type with the sun card, Leo's energy. There was some type of clarity that you received that someone was being deceptive and sneaky. And I feel like they it, it happened at a party, like some type of gathering where someone <clears throat> was gossiping and talking. Someone could have said that you were dealing with another person or this, um, like there was a third party going on or something like that. Something was being discussed about juggling or something pertaining to money with these pentacles. Juggling money or, and it was, again, it was at some type of celebration. And there were multiple people involved. Comment below and let me know if someone was discussing you at a party or if you heard something about someone talking about you behind your back regarding a third party because that's what I'm seeing someone is discussing some type of third party going on or something going on at work or someone that you work with and it's toxic Capricorn's energy Scorpio's energy is here as well but this situation is toxic some we have a manipulator here, someone who overindulges in things. Someone here is addicted and needing to make a, a decision. I'm also seeing travel. This conversation could have also taken place during some type of travel or trip or something with this world car and this world, the world, the world in the wheel car. This, someone could have taken a trip or something, like drove to somewhere, like a local, somewhere local. Initials could start with a T, A, R, or an O. Could have a black, white, gray, gold, or tan colored car. But again, I feel like the um, someone is holding back from this situation, holding back at this time. I'm also seeing them looking, <clears throat> they're holding back because they are looking at everything else behind them. They're not really focused on what's in front of them. And that's what's creating this tower moment. Scorpio Aries energy is here. That is what's creating a tower moment and causing a foundation of a union to crumble. Because I feel like whomever this person is that's holding back is someone's wish fulfillment with this nine of cups. Yeah, and I see someone is tired of feeling defeated. Tired of feel, tired of thinking about this situation. I'm just seeing someone here is tired, tired of being confused, tired of the arguing, the bickering back and forth, the fussing, the fighting, all of the people involved. <clears throat> someone here is tired and ready to move on. 
but they're not. Someone needs to make healthier choices. Okay. Let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. See, someone is reminiscing or thinking about the past. Someone may have also taken some naked pictures or taken some naked photos. And um, this other person is looking at them. They may reach out and call to tell you that they love you. They miss you. They're thinking about you. This could be in the form of a phone call or a text message. But again, this person may be committed. Someone here is committed to another person. I'm seeing someone here is already in a commitment. But they do like you. They like flirting. They like having fun or vice versa. Third party interference again. And someone is talking about this situation with family or friends. Someone is having a conversation. And I feel like there's going to be some shocking truth that comes out about this situation. Someone's going to get caught in a third party. There's going to be some type of exposure of a third party from what I'm seeing. Yeah. And then it's going to result in someone starting a new phase in their life. But someone's going to get caught. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that, Virgos. This is your reading for the energy and... April, comment below, let me know if this is your story. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, be safe. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.